Joseph Stalin. The Foundations of Leninism. 9. Style in Work. I am not referring to literary style. What I have in mind is style in work, that specific and peculiar feature in the practice of Leninism which creates the special type of Leninist worker. Leninism is a school of theory and practice which trains a special type of party and state worker, creates a special Leninist style in work. What are the characteristic features of this style? What are its peculiarities? It has two specific features. A. Russian Revolutionary Sweep and b. American Efficiency The style of Leninism consists in combining these two specific features in party and state work. Russian Revolutionary Sweep is an antidote to inertia, routine, conservationism, mental stagnation and slavish submission to ancient traditions. Russian Revolutionary Sweep is the life-giving force which stimulates thought, impels things forward, breaks the past and opens up perspectives. Without it no progress is possible. But Russian revolutionary sweep has every chance of degenerating in practice into empty revolutionary manualism if it is not combined with American efficiency and work. Examples of this degeneration are only too numerous. Who does not know the disease of revolutionary scheme concocting and revolutionary plan drafting? which springs from the belief in the power of decrees to arrange everything and remake everything. A Russian writer, I. A. Renberg, in his story The Perkomen, The Perfect Communist Man, has portrayed the type of a Bolshevik afflicted with this disease, who set himself the task of finding a formula for the ideally perfect man and became submerged in this work. The story contains a great exaggeration but it certainly gives a correct likeness of the disease. But no one, I think, has so ruthlessly and bitterly ridiculed those afflicted with this disease as Lenin. Lenin stigmatized this morbid belief in concocting schemes and in turning out decrees as communist vainglory. Communist vainglory, says Lenin, means that a man, who is a member of the Communist Party, and has not yet been purged from it, imagines that he can solve all his problems by issuing communist decrees, see volume 27, pages 50-51. Lenin usually contrasted hollow revolutionary phrase-mongering with plain everyday work, thus emphasizing that revolutionary scheme concocting is repugnant to the spirit and the letter of true Leninism. Fewer pompous phrases, more plain, everyday work, says Lenin less political fireworks and more attention to the simplest but vital facts of communist construction, see volume 24, pages 343 and 335. American efficiency, on the other hand, is an antidote to revolutionary manualism and fantastic scheme concocting. American efficiency is that indomitable force which neither knows nor recognizes obstacles, which with its business-like perseverance brushes aside all obstacles, which continues at a task once started until it is finished, even if it is a minor task, and without which serious constructive work is inconceivable. But American efficiency has every chance of degenerating into narrow and unprincipled practicalism if it is not combined with Russian revolutionary sweep. Who has not heard of that disease of narrow empiricism and unprincipled practicalism which has not infrequently caused certain Bolsheviks to degenerate and to abandon the cause of the revolution? We find a reflection of this peculiar disease in a story by B. Pilnyak, entitled The Barren Year, which depicts types of Russian Bolsheviks of strong will and practical determination who function very energetically, but without vision without knowing what it is all about, and who, therefore, stray from the path of revolutionary work. No one has ridiculed this disease of practicalism so incisively as Lenin. He branded it as narrow-minded empiricism and brainless practicalism. He usually contrasted it with vital revolutionary work and the necessity of having a revolutionary work and the necessity of having a revolutionary perspective in all our daily activities 
thus emphasizing that this unprincipled practicalism is as repugnant to true Leninism as revolutionary scheme concocting. The combination of Russian revolutionary sweep with American efficiency is the essence of Leninism in party and state work. This combination alone produces the finished type of Leninist worker, the style of Leninism in work. Pravda, Numbers 96, 97, 103, 105, 107, 108, 111, April 26th and 30th, May 9th, 11th, 14th, 15th and 18th, 1924. End of chapter 9. End of Foundations of Leninism